malfunction. A big invite to Limp Clips and Panty Peekaboo for these surefire ways to help you not be wardrobe walk boys. Every day when we get dressed, we are faced with fashion options that sometimes make us choose between being comfy and looking great. Choose wrong and bear the brunt for the rest of the day. Why? Even celebrities fall prey to looking what boys in their outfits. Avoid wardrobe malfunctions with Fit and Fab's crash course on studied elegance. What makes a woman stylish? It definitely isn't just about owning the trendiest outfits and prettiest pieces. It's also about knowing how to carry yourself with poise. Take it from the expert. Beauty queen, professional image consultant, and John Robert Powers instructor, Karen Augustine Austria. No matter what you're wearing, the most important thing, especially to make you look very confident, is your posture. For you not to be wapoi, you have to carry yourself with a good posture. That means you have to make sure that your chin is parallel to the ground, ears over the shoulders, your posture uh, is straight with its natural curves. Indeed, it's not the clothes that make the woman, but the manner in which she wears them. Karen has three basic rules to get you started. So number one, you must not wear anything that's completely outdated. So you'll be aware of what's in fashion right now. That could be a good way to start uh, dressing up for any occasion or any situation. Number two, just make sure that everything that you wear will fit you. A lot of women, they wear something either too tight or too loose because you will not really look good if you're wearing something that's too big on you or that's too tight on you. Number three, don't wear anything that's really worn out already. I know that one might have their favorite thought or their favorite jeans or your favorite bottom. But if it's really worn out already, that's not going to be a good idea for you to wear any